got to the job. We're waiting for the shower delivery. A four piece sterling. When it gets here, we're gonna break it down, put it inside the unit for tomorrow's installation. Thank God I called the supply house. They weren't even going to deliver it today. Anyway, here we are, we're waiting again. But it's all good, because I got myself in today. No surf. It was all good, Daddy. Good morning, YouTube. Today's task is we're going to go put a stand up shower in in a uh, renovation. Somebody tore the shower out while I was uh, off injured and they waited for me to put the shower back in, which is mighty nice of them. So when we get to the job, it's going to be all ready to go. New floor in, etc. And I get the, the honor of wrestling this Sterling four piece shower in. And I know it's going to be a headache because it's old construction and it's a rainy Monday day. It's already starting out bad. So hopefully we're going to get some luck with the plumbing world and this thing is going to go in smoothly. And young CB is coming in. He's got to drop his brother off to school like a good young man. And then uh, he'll be meeting me at the job. Little rainy out. I had the shower delivered on Friday. And of course, they were nice and late. So what we did was we... Uh, offloaded it into the building and uh, unboxed it etc so it's sitting there waiting and all ready for daddy okay here's the shower space I was talking about so in here we had a uh, old fiberglass shower, it was cracked. So now we're putting in a four piece sterling. But as you see, to bring a shower in here would be literally impossible. So that's why we chose the four piece. But here's the unit right here. The base, the back wall, and we have two sets of side walls. That is the plan, so we're gonna see what we got. So let's get to work. Let's get to work on this beautiful day. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Oh, let's check the floor, baby. Let's check the floor. Oh, of course I didn't have a point. So we'll break out our whittle skills and mark it out. Okay. No hole for the drain. So we're going to make a little bit of work of this right here and then we'll 45 into our trap down bottom and I'll show you all that downstairs. And by then, maybe Chuck B will be here. Young CB. Shower strainer time. Oh, little ABS shower strainer. The 
key is not getting the putty on the threads. It's a little heavy. It's going to be a little heavy, folks. Danny Jumbo side pliers. Hair's a little longer, smile's a little brighter. Good morning. Good morning. The floor is, the floor is kind of out. But well, we understand that. This is what happens in old construction. All right. CB. 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 I'm going to notch it. Floor a little bit down there. All right. That's what's gonna have to happen. So, hand me that saw, doll, please. This is right. Oh, CB, it's already in here. I like it. So I'm gonna notch this and uh, get it out the way. All right. Yeah. That's the plan, Daddy. <laughs> Big screwdriver. So hard, it's crazy. How they win? Nice. Crazy spans I've ever seen. I like that CB right there. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Too keen on these Chucky B. Yeah, not on these clips at all. Alright, let's grab the back wall. Bring it over here. This one? Yes, sir. After so much debate, we decided to keep the Faucets on the right hand side of the shower. And answer. Oh. After a little debate, we decided to keep the faucets on the right hand side of the shower. Of working with the interior wall, especially not the outside wall for uh, water. So, right here is going to be the faucet accessible from a kitchen access panel if we ever got to get to it. And after working with the shower, it's not that bad. We did a dry run, it's nice and sturdy, and uh, it should go pretty smooth. So, all right, get a little caulk in here. Young CB had to run to the shop, opened up for the carpenter. We're gonna get some work done over there. And uh, Mr. Cable, the legend, is working at my shop, which we will get him on film, because he is a legend.
Okay. My first clock is a question. I'm definitely going to clock in there. And no doubt. Everything is called in my book. one coat in today one t-shirt I don't know if you can hear that rain out there but it's pouring and I said you didn't bring a coat he says I don't need one I'm not soft <laughs> so I think I'm soft let's see how we're going on the plumb action here not that bad not that bad not that good but not that bad now, it's almost a little clog right here because it has all these little drain holes. So we're going to follow the instructions. It's nice and tight like against the brake. Yeah. Nice. CB's getting it in today. We like it. All right, put them other two male adapters on. Chuck B's getting it in today. We're going pro press today. Little pro press. We hate the solder. We definitely hate the solder. Little rigid RP200. Okay. Pro press. The way to go. Chuck B. All right. We gotta let the man do the job. It's a good job for him to learn. Come on this side, because here's the very important thing. This has got to be straight with that piece down there. Okay. All right? Chalk Bay Pro Press Expert. Everything's nice and straight. Good. Boom! Oh. Love it. Awesome. All right. 
Now see bay, since we're in such a peculiar pipe tight spot here, we're gonna fish two pipes up from the basement. And we're gonna fish up the riser for the shower all at the same time. Easy. No problem. What we got here is a basic wrestling match. Little space for the shower, little space for the shower riser here. Tight quarters for the plate, the diverter, without t taking out the whole wall. We're trying to do this with some compassion for the carpenter. Some compassion. Do we have compassion for Xavier? X-Man. X-Man. We're trying not to cut a hole in the upper part of that wall. <laughs> That's what we're trying not to do. You holding that tight? Nope. Alright, no. I'm gonna push plate on. Boom. Alright. I just gotta get this screw started. So hold that pipe straight. Ow. How's your head feel? Ow, that hand feel How's your hand feel? Let's use your head a little bit. Uh -huh. Remember how funny that we hold the pipe straight? Yeah. You're not? I can't see how straight it is. Bend down, go your knees, boy. Everything can't be easy. I'm gonna give you a fucking plate over here. Oh! I knew this, this dude, I knew this was gonna happen today. Boy, you get the thoughts? Nah, it's just, it, it, this sucks, dude. And put it, and put it to you this way? The shower went in like a dream. Alright, I'm gonna push the plate off, so give me some pressure. Alright. Boom, done. Now, I'm gonna come in with the screw. Right. Oh, feels good. Hold on, let me get the other one. We're gonna get lucky. Here goes the screw guy. Oh, all right. I'm not gonna go crazy. Alright, take five. Bang, give me a set of Allen wrenches, Chucky B. Alright. I do have the handle, oh, okay. yes. Alright. Get the WD-40 out. Mm -hmm. WD-40. He's gonna tell me how I got WD-40 to pulls again, but he don't do it. Unconventionally, we gotta put a vacuum board in here. Number one rule is to secure the lug out for the shower riser because if not you get this and the shot picture the shower head on here just flopping around like a fish out of water that's what we're doing so we're going to put a piece of wood in there boom, boom, from here to here and screw that there cb is going to do that what the hell are you smiling at <laughs> you're, you're about to get dirty dog Two sixty CB. Yeah, my battery's going dead too. But it's not dude. These ain't, these ain't gotta be exact. And we're gonna recut them downstairs. All right. All right. All right, CB. Let's put a couple uh, service nineties on them and, and pro press them. All right. Want me to say three? Nah, when you pro press, he's right on. All right. All right. Which ones are the 60s? These? Yeah. Alright. We'll do both we'll do both pro presses. Boom. Both on. And then we can do the other ones while they're in the wall. 
So we're gonna prefab and then drop. You can go down. Once you pro press them, yeah. you can go downstairs. All right. Look at the action shot, CB. them downstairs, shoot them up, and I'll prefab them in here, all right? Roger. Well, the 90s on the bottom and top. Bottom, right? That one? No. You didn't just ask me that question, dude. What are we doing? We're prefabbing the 90s. All right, never mind. Because I can't yep. get the pro press. Yep, yep, yep. He didn't just ask me that question, did he? We're prefabbing because I'm not gonna be able to get the pro press in here. So we're gonna be able to pro press this and this last joint when it fishes up the pipes. Okay. All right, bring bring the uh, one closest to the street up. The what? All right. Go. All right, Chucky B, send it up. Yep. Beautiful. Hold them. That's good. Let them go. Now you know why you prefab this. Look. I mean, I could have got it, but, but this is easy, man. But you're pro. That's too big. Bang! Done. Let's get a recap where we're at, CB. All right, you see what we got here. We got the diverter in, the shower riser. We got to do a little wood work in here. And then uh, tie in the plumbing in the basement tomorrow morning. 